Now we come to what is possibly one of the most hated integral examples in, in all of Calc 2, um, depending on the students that you talk to. But it's definitely not one of the more popular ones. Um, so secant cubed. And this is kind of illustrative of any sort of integral where we have an odd power of secant and either there is no tangent term present or if there is, it's an even power. Um, if tan is available to an odd power, um, then we can peel off a secant times tan and we're out of trouble. But if you have an odd power of secant times an even power of tan, possibly including zero, zero is even, there's a lot of work involved. In fact, this is something that requires integration by parts. So what we do is we say, first off the bat, we can write this as secant x times secant squared x. Okay. And we're going to apply integration by parts here with what are possibly the obvious choices. This is going to be my u. That's going to be my dv. All right, so then of course that means that du will be secant x tan x dx and v will simply be tan x. Okay. So what we get is u times v. So we get secant x tan x minus. So now we've got to do minus the integral of v du. Okay, and keep an eye on what we get. Here's v, here's du. We're going to multiply those together. So we get secant times tan times tan. So we get secant x times tan squared x times dx. All right. Now, once again, odd power of secant, even power of tan. This is not our friend. But we come down here and we say that tan squared, so tan squared is secant squared minus 1. Okay. So this is secant x tan x minus the integral secant x times secant squared x minus 1 times dx, which is secant x tan x minus the integral of secant cubed. Ah, there it is again. Minus minus plus the integral of secant x dx. Okay, well here's the thing. We started here, we ended up here with another one with the minus sign in front, right? So this is like e to the x cos x all over again. We can move this to the other side. We get that 2 times the integral of secant cubed x is equal to secant x tan x plus the integral of secant x dx. And we did that one, right? We did that in the substitution section. Um, we saw there was a bit of a trick to it, but we know how to do it. So actually, all we have to do here is divide by 2 and put in a known result. So we get 1 half secant x tan x plus 1 half times the natural log of the absolute value of secant x plus tan x plus our constant. Okay. 
And now we have it. It's not that bad, right? It's a bit of a workout, but it's not that bad.